Hi everyone, the topics that I would like to talk about is COVID-19 and its impacts on self-employed Self-employed takes various forms For example, it's those who are self-employed comprise independent contractors, site providers of businesses and individuals involved in partnerships A self-employed person refers to any individuals who earns a livelihood from any independent pursuits of economic activities as exposed to earnings and income by working for a corporation or another individuals. In Asia, the coronavirus pandemic has hit many small businesses. According to ILO, an overwhelming of 87% of women business owners across the world report that have been negatively affected by the pandemic. Next, we move to see the incomes of home-based workers who are self-employed have decreased because of lockdown. Women entrepreneurs in Asia are affected by COVID-19 crisis and many are currently suffering serious setbacks in their line of work. In South Asia and Southern Asia, the work of millions of women who do peace works for national and international brands are jeopardized as the COVID-19 continues to spread in, their, in this region. Those engaged in economic activities that rely on raw materials and resources from China have been unable to get supplies that they need for production. Next, we move to the objective. The articles give a broad swap of the impacts of COVID-19 on self-employed women. The literature on this subject is still scarce, and these articles attempt to synthesize some of the availability information and summarize key points about this issue. These information in this article serve to provide a basic understanding about the problems encountered by self-employed women during the COVID-19 pandemic that call for the planning of effective programs which would enable self-employed women to deal with negative impact of current crisis. Next, we move to see literature review. The devastation economic consequences of COVID-19 pandemics have worsened Next, we move to see the another authors. The findings of another authors show that the feminized service sectors, such as education, social care, and cleanings, are not only difficult to digitalize, but have also been transformed from public sectors job to agency-based work that is often characterized by a weak social safety net. Women were thirty-five percent more likely than men to suffer income losses among the self-employed. According to their study, because women are disappropriately employed in industry, they are more seriously affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. So, future policy interventions aim at mitigating the negative economic shocks in similar crisis situations should take structural discriminations in economic distress into account. Therefore, the researchers also mentions that this is the okay. next is methodology. The methodology used for this paper consists of five research and an evaluations of the literature. References are based on online database. The articles that were reviewed were those that were focused on self-employed women and self-employed issues in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. That for limitations, there were restrictions in our approach mode, which we need to recognize as they have an influence on the usefulness of the work. This is likely then okay. there are numerous articles on the topics of self employed women by we but we limited our explanations to those articles in English and we are conscious that there are many publications in other language as well. For policy, there are there a whole range of economic policies that comprise both the public and various shifters. This includes the eliminations of barriers that avoid full participation of women in economic activities, equal space and equal chance social protection schemes attract favorite buyers, financing for women entrepreneurs and machinists to promote women self-employed. 
There are several policies that ensure women representations in the COVID nineteen response planning and decision making. There are incentives that generate pathway for underserved and underprivileged groups that allow women and the women to grow their digital ability, better adopt to fast moving virtual environments and restructure reconstruct their business to be to be extra sustain sustainable and hardy in a crisis situations. They also provide women owned small businesses to improve and be harder by assisting them to harness digital technology along with obtainable support needs. Self employed women are highlighted affected due to the COVID nineteen pandemic. This paper has established a basic understanding and frameworks that allow future investigating patients in this area. These articles provide insights on the challenge of self-employed women from the diverse angle and identify ways to assist small businesses to weather the pandemic. Government financial institutions and business organizations need to make sure they are providing the right support programs, solutions and innovations to allow female entrepreneurs the chance to success in the world new normal. Thank you.